Brock Lesnar is the greatest and most decorated combat sports athlete in WWE. But if the recent lawsuit against Vince McMahon is showing the world anything, it is that WWE could be very well done with the Beast Incarnate. And considering he was removed from the opening intro and replaced with LA Knight, all indicate that he's been given the Chris Benoit treatment and being Thanos snapped out of existence. And it's a shame because Brock Lesnar wasn't an ordinary superstar. He was one of the biggest attractions in WWE. And I think even he believes the last thing any performer could ask for in this day and age is to be erased. But just like Vince McMahon's situation, the question needs to be asked. 1. How did we get here? 2. How did a simple contract signing in 2021 turn into such a f***ed up situation for WWE? And 3. What does this all mean for Brock Lesnar moving forward in WWE? So let's get right into it. Just to be clear, the lawsuit hasn't gone to trial and no one has been charged with anything. That being said, the lawsuit between Vince and Miss Grant's alleged relationship during her time in WWE is filled with misconduct, abuse and even allegations. But there was one specific part of the document that caught the attention of everyone. The lawsuit didn't mention Lesnar's name directly. Instead, it stated that Vince was trying to re-sign a WWE superstar who was also a former heavyweight champion that had a large collective fan base and helped generate views and drive in-person attendance. It doesn't take a genius to figure out they're talking about Lesnar. Furthermore, it would go on to say that Vince was trying to re-sign that superstar when SummerSlam was right around the corner in 2021. And if you didn't know, Brock wrestled his final match against Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania in 2020 during the pandemic era in an empty performance center. He was technically done with WWE, so the timeline kind of matches up with the lawsuit. <laughs> To add to this, Brock revealed on the Michael K show that he originally retired, but Vince brought him back as he offered him a lucrative contract. In 2020, I was retired uh, and was going to be just done because I had my 20 years in. COVID hit, my contract was up. I had my very first wrestling match in an empty garage, and I, there I was 20 years later fighting Drew McIntyre in front of no people. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, for the WWE Championship. And I was like, you know what? It came full circle. And I was truly done. Get in my home. Change my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. Which just further corroborated Miss Grant's lawsuit allegation. This was enough for everyone to point the finger at Lesnar as he fits the description in the lawsuit. And considering Vince and him had a close relationship, many put two and two together. But back to the lawsuit. As I said, Lesnar had retired and Vince wanted to offer Brock anything he wanted. <laughs> yeah, boy. According to the documents, Vince wanted to set up Miss Grant with Lesnar because Vince thought it might help get Lesnar to re sign with the company. Additionally, McMahon also had an ugly fantasy of witnessing Lesnar and Miss Grant in a unmerciful sexual act. Which sounds f***ed up, but I guess in Vince's mind things were a bit different. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. And during this time, Vince also gave Grant's personal phone number to Lesnar, and then Brock allegedly asked Grant to fulfill one of his fetishes by filming herself urinating. And I think most people's reaction was like this to hearing that news. Hey yo, what the fuck? So unfortunately, the evidence and timeline makes it where Brock ticks all the boxes. For one, he did return at SummerSlam that year. Two, he was close with Vince unlike other performers and three he fits the bill described by the lawsuit. It might be hard for many to believe as Brock has always felt like a guy who's lived a private life and didn't interfere with someone else's personal life. And whilst everything is alleged so far, WWE is already making changes and might be giving Brock Lesnar the Chris Benoit treatment just to play it safe from a company standpoint. Chris Benoit is considered one of the best in-ring performers of all time and the way he ended his life completely tarnished his legacy. Even his die-hard fans understand why the man will never be inducted into the Hall of Fame. That being said, if Vince is charged as guilty and all of this ends up being proven true, WWE won't hesitate in removing Brock from its history books. And I think that's something even Brock Lesnar will be hurt by. But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed? However, sadly, WWE is kinda already doing this. When the lawsuit appeared, the company halted any creative plan that had Brock Lesnar in it. For this year alone, Brock was scheduled to appear at the Royal Rumble. Instead, he was replaced with Braun Breaker. So technically, it was Dominic Mysterio who would have eliminated him. 
Stop the cap. Additionally, he was supposed to have a program with Gunther at WrestleMania 40 for the IC Championship, which most fans were excited to see considering there was a year long build. That also isn't happening anymore and the company is now forced to change the plans for Gunther. And this was later confirmed by Gunther himself in an interview, even going as far to say he doesn't know if we will see Lesnar in WWE again. What would your WrestleMania dream match be either this year or any, you know, what would your dream scenario be for WrestleMania? My, my dream match in the past, but that fell through now um i don't think we're gonna i don't know if we see brock again if that's ever gonna happen not only that it seems like wwe are in full pr mode and are quickly changing anything that shows or even mentions brock lesnar and this is evident with wwe removing brock from its video package that is before any wwe tv show not only that the company has gone as far as to remove brock from its latest wwe 2k24 video game cover being replaced with john cena in addition to that searching for certain lesnar videos i've realized they've either been privatized or deleted off of youtube Finally, other companies that Brock has had associations with, such as Bearded Butchers, have already erased him from their YouTube channel. So with that, it seems like everyone wants to distance themselves from Brock Lesnar. What did I just tell you? Even though there's only just allegations against him, it's more so the bad press one will bring if he's associated with the company. At this point, you can't even predict anything regarding Brock anymore. It's a possibility that Lesnar might never appear in WWE again, and I don't know if Brock really cares about performing in the ring again. That being said, Eric Bischoff had an interesting take on his podcast as he talked about Brock and how he doesn't necessarily need to return to WWE after all of this is done and dusted. So I don't think he's motivated to, to be a public person or is going to try to reclaim his fame, if you will, for lack of a better term. And he's got enough money. He, he doesn't need it to do. I don't think there's any motivation on his part to try to resurrect his career. It must be said, without Vince in the company, Lesnar's motivation to come back is lessened, as has been noted that they refer to their relationship like a father and son, and the idea of coming back to work for Triple H or Stephanie just might not seem as appealing. So it does beg the question, what if the lawsuit comes back and Lesnar is innocent? Do you really think he'll come back to WWE considering they gave him the Chris Benoit treatment, or do you think it will be just war under the bridge? I think only time will tell. No! Please, no! No! Unlike Vince McMahon and other wrestlers alike, Lesnar has always been a quiet and private person and often kept to himself backstage. This meant that there were very few incidences of him causing any sort of trouble backstage. However, during the Speak Out movement, a former WWE star Terry Reynolds opened up about an incident involving Lesnar in the WWE changing rooms which occurred just before 2004. She would go on to mention that Lesnar committed a lewd act directed towards her as he apparently showed his to her you serious? and would go on to call her names while in the dressing room. Brock was very new to the business and he exposed himself to me at the um, insurrection pay-per-view like a real dick. I was backstage then I hear my name called and Brock was in this room. Dustin was in the room, my ex-husband at the time. And Brock did the whole thing. Reynolds first reported the incident when it happened over 16 years ago, but nothing came of it as she was told to keep quiet. She would go on to say that she felt compelled to shine a light on it 16 years later thanks to the Speak Out movement. And WWE would go on to issue a statement in light of Reynolds' renewed push for accountability, saying that the organization stood against any sort of act. And it's important to highlight these type of issues as they could be brought up if the lawsuit were to go to trial. But at this point, the damage has already been done. With the most recent allegations put forward by Miss Grant, Lesnar's reputation and character has been badly hurt with everything that's been said about him. Even if the charges were dropped or proven false, in today's day and age, we all know that's a death sentence for many within the entertainment industry and WWE. <laughs> Prime examples would be Matt Riddle, Enzo Amore and even the Velveteen Dream, all of which had sexual misconduct allegations against him but never seemed to recover career-wise. Which begs the question, 
It's easy to say that Brock's had a career that any upcoming pro wrestler dreams of having and look how things ended up turning out for him in the end. And at this point, it's hard to know if Brock would be charged with anything considering everything was allegedly orchestrated by Vince. But if the lawsuit goes to trial and Vince is found guilty, it would be best to keep Lesnar away from WWE for good, one would think. But this is the WWE. They've managed to get great wrestlers like Bret Hart, Ultimate Warrior and even CM Punk back into the ring, despite all the animosities they had against the company. So who's to say that we won't see Brock Lesnar in WWE again and that maybe he could be back sooner rather than later if all goes well. Considering the facts that he is a massive draw for the company and a main event superstar, but most of all, I think Lesnar himself would like to end things on his terms rather than being forced out by others. And who knows, maybe even he wants a Hall of Fame invite from WWE. But let me know what you think of the whole Brock Lesnar situation in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more.